Today we're talking about Luna. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice because I am not a financial advisor, but look at this. Bitcoin is doing nothing but Luna. It's absolutely pumping over the last few days. We are having a little bit of a pullback right now today, but over the last few days, UST, Luna, and even Luna 2 have been pumping crazy. And that's what this video is about. We're gonna talk about how we can profit from this, where I think it's going next, all of that sort of good stuff. And do I think that this coin is going to a dollar, 10 cents, one cent? We're gonna talk about all of that today. First of all, if you wanna trade what's going on with Luna Classic right now, you can do it over on KuCoin. If you sign up using the link down there in my description, you're gonna get up to a $500 bonus just following that link and depositing your first crypto into your account. I've been making trades here using leverage, 81% gain here in a short position and also 47% gain in a long position. There's definitely opportunities to be made in short term trading with a coin like this with great volatility right now. But remember, this is only if you are an experienced trader. You need to know what you're doing because you can get uh, completely liquidated, completely wrecked really quickly on these sorts of coins because as you can see, they move extremely fast, right? This is a move right here of around 11%. But if you had, let's say, a 10x leverage open short on that position from up there, you would make a 100% gain. So those are the kind of things you can do, but you need to go out and learn how to do it first. But if you do want to follow the links to KuCoin, you can get that $500 deposit bonus. Overall, the market is red today. Like I said, Bitcoin sitting right here at around the $20,000 mark. We have just dropped below that. These circles are here because I am envisioning another sort of trapdoor moment, sideways consolidation and a trapdoor moment to come into Bitcoin, dropping us to around that $14,000 mark. I would see the next line of support coming into the markets. Extreme fear in the market, down 2% overall, but we do have Terra Classic right now down 7.5%. Uh, UST down at 20%. So a little bit of a gain actually there today since I last checked this out and 11% on Terra too. But the interesting thing of course is to look at the week with these massive gains. We got a massive gain there. And again, we got massive gains right here. This is happening around the news that's circulating. I think uh, people are getting excited about Anonymous who have said they're looking into uh, what happened behind the scenes, checking out Doquan, trying to prove that he basically did something bad, right? And that is what everyone's getting excited about. Out and they are dumping their money back into Luna, right? And obviously there is opportunity to profit from this. I think that this is more of a short-term play than a long-term play, although I do see uh, there an opportunity for Luna Classic or UST Classic to become more meme community-based coins. And we've seen the likes of Doge and Shiba absolutely pump, right? So if the macroeconomic level gets back to normal or gets back to a bullish landscape, we could see that sort of thing. But right now, the markets aren't great, right? The overall market's down. The overall world isn't looking so good. We got inflation soaring. So we need those sorts of things to sort themselves out before I think we'll see any gains. And another rumor that's circulating is Binance is actually uh, trying to do this. Binance is actually trying to bring back Luna from the dead. They are holding $344 million worth of Luna Classic and over a billion UST Classic coins right now. This could potentially just be liquidity, but one thing they did just today was release how to buy Terra Classic, a guide, and how to buy UST. And we do know from the back end and from following what's happening, CZ was burnt very much by this whole Luna collapse. Also, he was very vocal and very much a critic against how Do Kwon handled the whole situation. And he does always try, in my opinion, to provide value for his users and customers and uh, community and that sort of thing. So he could very well be the person behind trying to revive Luna Classic. We don't really have anything uh, concrete as to what's going on right now, but definitely interesting stuff here. And with these pumps, like I said, we can make the best of these volatility points here. We can find local bottoms, long it. We can find local highs and short it. There are many opportunities when the market is super volatile. But like I said, I think it is best to uh, have short term vision. Don't be trying to hold your coins for so long because of this volatility. Uh, you will be liquidated, right? Essentially, you will be liquidated if you are using high leverage and high margin. Now, with that said, let's talk about where I think uh, Luna Classic is actually going. Right now, we have a market cap of eight eight hundred and seventy million dollars right that is about 45 times smaller than the old market cap right 
we used to have a market cap of around 40 billion. Now we're just under a billion. So it's around 45 times smaller. So if we take this price right here, we get the calculator up here and we take it 0.000132. We times that by 45. We can see here a price of 0.0059. So we're looking at just under a, a half a cent, right? This is half a cent if the market cap for Luna Classic went back to the old market cap. This is when huge funds were involved. This is when there was so much bullish momentum in the market. No one had been burnt yet. There were funds, VCs, uh, huge exchanges were holding their money, some of their money on anchor. We had a very, very good market and this would only be half a cent, right? Remember, there was an obscene amount of Luna coins minted in the process of the death spiral we saw. So this is why this is now the new price if reached that all time high. Now, of course, if someone came in and burnt the majority of Luna Classic tokens, we could see this price again. We could see a higher price if that happened. I'm skeptical whether or not someone is willing to put that sort of money into burning it, but we really never know what happens with crypto. So with that said, that's what I see with the market. I don't think we're going to a dollar 10 cents or a cent anytime soon or ever unless we get a huge amount of burns if you do want to make the best of this volatility one of the exchanges that i suggest is kucoin but i also use a number of other coins down there in my description like bybit or binance all have great deposit bonuses and all serve the same purpose i'm just personally using kucoin for this exact trade that i'm doing with luna with that said if i if you did like this video smash the like button hit the subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace Whoosh.